since my daughter came for a visit. We went on plenty of adventures while on the hard at the marina. But there was one thing off, our ability to go sailing. So we pushed off the dock in the dinghy so Kara could experience the beautiful waterways and marshes of the small wonders of Delaware. But before that can happen, we need to button up the bottom work and prepare the Bohemian for its journey south. You know, every system, there's a danger involved in these systems. So like, that's an ocean going so, but you're out in the middle of the ocean, there's nobody there to save you. You've got to go. If you're gonna use a boat like this other than a coastal cruiser, you, you gotta check this shit out. So there's the exhaust. And that's 12 feet of exhaust. That stuff costs $40 a foot. You can get Vetus for like 20. It's a little, it's not, a, and then the stuff with the wire in it costs about 40. It's 12 feet, so what's 12 times 40? That's like 600 bucks. So I knew when I ripped that apart, it was gonna cost me some money. But take a look. I'll show you what I found. I'm you'll find stuff when you take it apart. All right, look at that. It wasn't leaking. This this exhaust hose did not leak. But look at that. If the rubber's gone. There's fabric. I don't know how it wasn't leaking because I guess there's a liner on the inside of this, and it was holding it. But say you were out in the ocean. And this broke and you were in a storm or you were somewhere where you had to have your motor and uh, maybe the tides were, or the, the storm was pushing into uh, somewhere you needed your motor. I don't think my bilge could keep up with what the motor is kicking out. And if it did, it'd be close. It'd be a teeter-totter thing going on.
Now we're gonna go up in this grass right here in the coat and see how far we can get up in there. Mm -hmm. Farther you get up there, the more mermaids there is. And hermit crabs. Jungle Book, or the Jungle Cruise. Nakoda! Speed out. No. Okay. Who wants to go full speed out of the hole? No. What? So this is another morning. And now the name of the game is I've ground all around the whole thing at a bevel like this. No, like this, like this. So it's thin here, a little bit thicker here. And that took about a day and a half to do around the whole area. And then all the holes you have to fill in here, here, here with fiberglass. And that's probably like 10 layers of fiberglass to fill in all the, the imperfections. So one of the issues was right here at this crack line is where it would leak. So if it leaked, it would go up inside the boat through this crack. And the strut is gonna land about right here. So I ground this away and now I'm gonna lay fiberglass from here over to here. Now, you see 
this will all get ground flat flat so it'll cut right there and that'll be flat and then this will get tapered to this and then that skin will go big skin will start going over the top of it so that makes it super strong a lot stronger than it would have been if i just laid the skin over it and you see up there i'm putting braces i'm gonna put a brace here here two down there two down there and you see here on the on both ends i fiberglassed so that's layer after layer after layer after layer up in that crack that wide that long and there's a bolt that runs through there so that's all fiberglass same thing over here and then the centers i just filled with this right here area right here i filled with closed cell foam so everything's ready to go to fiberglass so this next step is kind of important we have to build up the fiberglass in these low spots to kind of mimic the contour of the boat when it came out of the factory You guys see that air it's right there can you see it and then it you can just push it out right there and then keep going I'm kind of putting like tension on one side a little bit more than the other side to kind of get that to find the air because you, you really can't see them and once you get that done then I'll roll over it to try to keep that middle flat and then I'll just kind of squeeze the ends to where you get those flat but when I lay the next piece over it which is a little bit bigger it's like an inch wider it'll lay nice and flat that's the plan anyway so there's the first two layer the first layers of fiberglass over where the beam was so the next step is to level that you see that gap we're gonna it goes all the way out to here so we're gonna level all that out at, in a section and then same with this you see that gap we're gonna level the this part right here right there we're gonna bring it out and, and we're gonna fill that with fiberglass and fill all that in to try to get all that one level so once it's all level then I'll take a 36 grit flat disc and form that to the shape of the boat as much as I can from when it came to the factory and then she'll be ready to put the skin on which is another task in itself